Good morning, and thank you for joining us this morning as we prepare our heart for worship. It's for His glory and only for His glory. For His glory. I walked into my wedding to the Kirk Franklin song called Love. I thought that song was fitting because I don't want my hubby and I to lost in the meaning of the word love. Because people always said, I love you, I love you, but they don't really know what it means. Like the song said, very few people know what it means to really love, but Jesus. Jesus showed us exactly what it means to love and obedience to his father when he walked to the cross to be a sacrifice. That's love. Love is important and embedded into society today because we seek to be accepted and loved by someone. Our love in Christ Jesus is real. And we can never forget his love that he has for you and for me. You see, Christ, God, love is powerful. In the Bible, there's an entire chapter in 1 Corinthians telling us exactly what love is. But knowing what love is doesn't mean that we can do it or are capable of doing it. There's many things in that chapter that I know I man sometimes fail at. I mean, the chapter tells us love keeps no record of wrong. But I know when I'm arguing with my husband, I try to go back to something he did two years ago and I remind him that some of us love to argue like that. Didn't she do this two years ago, three years ago? <laughs> but real love is not something that we each of all capable of. Sometimes our love is limited and conditional based on how another person treats us. But God show us in that verse what real love is and he show us even more importantly to his son, Jesus Christ. That's what the scripture tell us today into the book of John 3, verses, John chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. John chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. He tells us, and as Moses lifted up the bronze snake in the pole in the wilderness, so the Son of God must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his Son, his only Son, that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. God sent his Son into this world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against those who believe in him and have already been judged. But those who do not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on the fact God light comes into the world, but people love the darkness more than the light for their actions were evil. And all who do not, all who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for the fear that their sin will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. This scripture revealed to me something, but let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the words that you have shown us so much you loved us. I pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that your love will flow through this message and touch the heart of your hearer. I pray, your oh Father God, that everyone who's hearing this message will seek your love of your son, Jesus, into their life. And know the power of the love that comes to you. Father, help us to feel your love this morning. Empower us and cover us with your love so that we can be strengthened and empowered by you. Use me, your oh Father God, to deliver the message to your people. And let my lips be the tool that can do the work you need. Father, I pray that someone this morning will walk into the love of you and your son, Jesus Christ, and accept it into their life. I text and save to the number. I ask your Father God that you will encourage us to continue to seek your love way more than the love of you, man. May honor and glory be given to your name through this message. In Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. The message that I got by reading the scripture is that there's a simple truth to a blessed life. A simple truth to a blessed life. And see, I don't know about you, but I like things simple. 
I like things simple. Complicated things that are complicated seem to have all kind of theft attached to it. When I ask you a question, I expect a simple answer. Because then when you start giving me a long, complicated answer, I sense that there's a lie in between that. So I like things simple. You see, this scripture is how Jesus was answering a complicated question by Nicodemus. And he gave him a simple answer. A simple answer that encouraged us to know the simple truth of the gospel. You see, Christ didn't make it complicated for Nicodemus, so he didn't have to ask any more question after Christ answering. Because he knew from what God gave him was a simple answer. And he gets to be here. A simple answer was what Christ gave him. You see, when we take the word of God and try to make it complicated, when we take the word of God and remove the simplicity from it, we are also removing the simple good news and replacing it with legalistic news. But the simple truth is God loves you. There is nothing more extravagant or complicated than that. And you either accept his love or reject his love. But this is it. The good news tells us that it's simple. From this scripture, we also learn that God loves savers. And that is simple as that. God loves savers. The scripture tells us here in verse 14, it says, that as God, as Moses lifted up the bound snake on the pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believe in him will have eternal life. You see, God allowed the sinner to be lifted up to save the people of Israel from the consequences of their action of not being obedient to his word. But because he loved them, he find a way to save them. Today, God did the same thing through his son, Jesus Christ. He sent his son to save us. And he is saving us not from a sinner bite, but from the bite of sin, of the bite of darkness, from the bite of death. So God love was still here to save us through his son, Jesus Christ, from so many different things. And if we think about it, we need to be saved. I don't know about you, but there are times in my life that I need to be saved. God love, save us. That's a simple truth. How do we know that God loves save us? He sent his son, his only son, to be an assurance of his love for us. He didn't send a prophet. He didn't send an angel. He didn't send another human being. He didn't send anything anyone else but his son. It's God sending his son to us. Let us know that God's love is personal. He wants to have a personal relationship with us. So he sent his son. Not a representative. His son. To show how personal his love is for us. That's the God we serve. So God love not only save us. But he makes it personal with us. He saved us from so many things. With his personal love. God loves save us from darkness. God loves save us from things that we need to be saved from, from sins, from our past hurt, from broken hearts. There is nothing into your life that God love cannot save you from. God loves save. And because God loved us, he wants to always be there for us. He wants to always save us. The second thing I get from this scripture here. In the book of John chapter 3, verses 14 to 21, is that God loved deliver us from evil. When we read the second portion of the verses 18 to 20, we see where God's judgment is only for those who don't believe. See, God sent Jesus Christ, his son, to save us. But you only can be saved if you don't believe. You have to believe in Christ Jesus to be saved. The Bible said if you don't believe, you have already faced God's judgment for not believing in his one and only son. A son that he gave as a sacrifice for us. So you have already faced God's judgment if you have not believed. But therefore, God loved to save us, but to receive it, we must believe in the son, Christ Jesus. No judgment come to those who have already believed. In Christ Jesus. 
But the evil and the darkness of this world try to let us believe that there is a judgment. But there is none because of God's love for us. Darkness can be addictive. The scripture tells us that sometimes we don't go to the light because we love the darkness. But darkness can be addictive, which is why we love it more than light. It's order for us to give up things that we are addicted to. Take the life of a drug addict, someone who's struggling with drugs. You see, they're not a bad person. They're just struggling with a bad habit that they can't let go of. It's difficult because it's addictive. The feelings of wanting more, the feelings of needing more, feeling that you can't live without it. Even when you lost your home, your family, your job, your life, you still want that thing that you're addicted to. That's what darkness is into this world. Many of us are so addicted to darkness, the way of life or the way life should be, that we don't want to walk into the light of Jesus Christ. And this is how the enemy is using us. But the simple truth is this. Darkness leads to death and light leads to life. We have to choose which one do we need. We have to choose out of debt or life. You can't have a boat way. And as addictive as darkness is, God love delivers from it. Because the scripture tells us that those who believe in the Son have everlasting life. Those who believe in the Son get free from darkness. Those who believe in the Son get to walk into the light and have eternal life. There is nothing more greater than God love it save you and deliver you from evil. But if you choose not to walk into God love, it's because darkness has a stronghold on you. And you doesn't have to. You allow it to do that. But only God love can save you. Why is it important for us to know how much God loved us? Why is it necessary? Why, why do we care that God loved us? Because when we know how much God loves us, it's up us to trust in him and depend on him. It's easier for us to go to someone who we know loved us than to go to someone who don't care about us. When you know how much God loves you, you can go to him in all things. You can go to him for all your needs and for all your wants. When you know how much God loves you, he gives you an opportunity to go to him in an open door for him to provide your very need. That's the God we serve. He is so full of love that he's always there to deliver us from ourselves. He is always there to provide for us. He is always there to protect us. And he is always there to cover us. When you understand and awaken to the true love of God and there is no one else that you will meet after that, you will go to God for all things. Sometimes we get so caught up into a human desire that we let loose and don't recognize the divine desire of God loves. So that's why it's important for us to know what God love means. What do we do with this understanding of what God love is? We seek it out. How do we see God love? By believing in the Son, Jesus Christ. Asking him to come into a life and live. Ask Christ to come and live on your heart so that you can feel the love. You can pray and ask God to show his love to you. You can go to God in honesty. You can talk to God just like how you talk to your friends. God, I don't know what your love is. I don't feel it. Can you show it to me? And God, who loves you and sent the son to die for you, will show you everything you need. Christ was lifted up on the cross for the world to be saved through him. Christ was sacrificed that the blood that flowed from him for our sins and so that we can have eternal life. Christ died on the cross for you and for me. That's so powerful God love is. God love is not something we can understand with our mind, but it's something we can accept with our heart. So God love save us and God love deliver us from evil. If we believe, we will receive exactly what we believe. You see, Christ 
is the way, the truth, and the life. You can't receive God's love without Jesus Christ. You cannot go to God without Jesus Christ. Christ is the holy thing that can bring you into God's love. So you must believe in him and accept him into your life for you to truly receive the abundance of God's love. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Every other way is lead to destructive life. Trust in the truth. And you will have hope. A hope that allow you to live forevermore. The simple truth is that God loves you. Don't complicate it with worldly blue. The freedom you seek is offered to you. Just believe in his son and let his light live in you. When you trust in the truth, a light is guaranteed. And the darkness that controls the world will flee. Draw closer to God and he will draw closer to you. And that, my friend, is a simple truth. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, guide our prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you today and your love and your power. And ask that someone today will receive this message of love that you have sent to them. Someone who feels lost and need to be loved someone who doesn't understand the love that you have for them hoping their heart to receive it today hoping their heart to truly understand the truth that you have given to them and let them know it's not complicated like others wanted to see but it's a simple truth that you love them father I act this morning that you will touch the heart and the mind of the soul of someone today allow them to be saved and accept your son jesus christ into their life walking into the fullness of wisdom and understanding. And if there's someone who has already accepted your son into their life but still struggling with the complicated of the truth, then reveal the simple truth to them that all they need to do is accept the love that you have for them. I pray, your Father God, that someone will be blessed by this message, a life will be transformed and changed, and that your glory will be seen into their home. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And amen. At this moment, I would like to invite those of you who have not accepted Christ into your life as yet. If there's someone here who doesn't know what it means to be saved, then text SAVE to this number, 441-410-441-5416. When you text SAVE to this number, you will have a prayer of salvation for you to pray to accept Christ into your life as your personal Savior. The door of the church is open. At this time, if you would like to become a member for church, also text SAVE to this number. I pray that God will lead your heart to take a step and to do something because he loves you. Have a wonderful and blessed day.